Exciting. So you've been playing this role for almost a half a year. So what has been some of the most fun experience of playing, you know, the new Black Canary? I mean, the whole thing has been really fun and really incredible, but I think the physical training uh, has been my favorite part of it because it's, it's like a daily thing that I can do on my own um, outside of work, and it sort of transforms my life in real life as well. So that's really been, I think, my favorite part. Yeah. So initially when we met Dinah, she was kind of motivated by revenge. Uh, what kind of hero is she going to be now as we head into this season? I think she's motivated more by justice now than revenge. And because she is sort of part of a team and she's not on her own anymore, uh, you know, she's fighting for her new family as well. So it's not just like a solo mission. Uh, so we got to see your new, you know, costume for the season. So when you first saw it, got you know, suit up for the first time. What was it like getting in the costume? Um, I cried. I cried a little bit, and I, it was it was surreal. Like it was the first time I really felt like a hero physically. Like you know, you're, kind of, you're acting, and it's an internal thing. And then once the suit is on, you really see yourself differently. You stand differently, and uh, it, it was amazing. It was that also was one of the coolest moments of the show. Actually, was putting on the suit for the first time. Yeah. So, I know you're limited what you can say about season six, but what are you excited for that you can tease about? I'm I'm excited for uh, you know however the team reassembles itself. I'm excited for them to be a stronger unit. Um, you know. It, I think that we went through some trauma together on, on the island, and the outcome, you know, is uh, we're going to need to put our pieces back together, and I think that just makes us stronger and better, so just getting closer to everybody and the relationships being more complex and, and delving into our friendships more, I'm looking forward to that. You've seen on the social media, you've been you know, getting some black narrative, birds of prey books, is it something that you hope to bring to life from those comics you know, in Black Canary? That's a great question. You know, I'm, I'm looking for inspiration all over when I'm reading the comics because, you know, the show, it, it's not just the comics and it's not just the show. I think it's, you have to sort of pay an homage to both. So, um, it's different things. It might just be an expression like that, you know, I see from any one of the characters or, or a line or a, a, a tone that I, that I can pick up from the comics. So, I'm really just sort of looking for, I'm, I'm looking at it almost like art as well as for the story. In the finale, we got like a sweet moment between Dinah and Quentin where he, you know, finally gave her uh, the Black Mary name. Um, what would you like to see with that dynamic moving forward? Well, if Quentin is still around, <laughs> yeah, yeah. then um, I, I love that dynamic. I love that sort of like, um, it's almost like a, a paternal um, thing that, that, you know, Quentin has with Dinah. And, uh, I, I just think it's really sweet. I would love to see that continue, and I also love that they have the police force in common. They have a common goal, so um, I think they're a great alliance, those two. So, when you do your canary cry on the show, did you, like, practice in front of the mirror? And do you every scream day. the top of your lungs on every take? <laughs> no. I learned the hard way, like, that's not a good idea if you want to speak the next day, but um, what I'll do is, I'll, I'll usually mouth it. I will, I will practice in the mirror, um, but... If, it just depends. If you're if you're already in an action scene and then you have to scream, like sometimes the scream will just come out and you know and you go with it. Sometimes if you just have to stand there and scream over and over, you just want to sort of pretend. Um, but it's a silent scream, you know. <laughs> it's an internal scream. <laughs> You got like a nice dynamic with uh, with Rick and with uh, Echo. So what is it like to bring that to like that, play off each other like that? Well, we I love them in real life and, and we're friends in real life and it's just sort of it's just fun. It's like carrying you know our friendship onto onto the screen. So it's I, I like to hear that it shows because we just have a fun dynamic and it's fun to uh, you know especially with Rick and I being in movies and stuff. It's fun to be like poke fun at each other like we're the rookies and we can you know, take it out of each other. So, just like it's a fun friendship that's a real life friendship too. Romance, but like, will we see more of the conflict between the Black and the Ball? We didn't get to see much of that in Black and the Ball. Between uh, Black Canary and Green Arrow? Yeah. I, I think so. I, you know, again, she's she's really part of the team now. She's decided to commit. You know, she's she's got the costume on and um, she's serious about it. So she she's with Green Arrow. Like he is the head of the team and that's that's the captain. And she is, you know, she, she's with him. Yeah. So I think. I think their friendship, their their dynamic is going to grow again. Not not romantically, just as a team. Yeah. Because we have 
seen, you know, other versions of the Black Canary before. What is it, you work with the writers or like just yourself and like trying to find like certain things to set her aside from the other Black Canaries you've seen. And how important has that been to make sure, you know, that she's got her own path and she's got that unique story? That's really, that's interesting. I, you know, I, I think, I feel like she's set apart in the fact that she has a different story alone. Like she comes from such a different place, you know, her, her backstory, her reason for being on the team. Um, like you're saying, her whole motivation was this revenge and she has this anger and this, and I, just, I think that sets her apart, you know, she, they're just totally different characters, even though they're playing, we're playing the same character, we're so different, um, so I don't, it's not a conscious effort to be different, um, it's just trying to be true to Dinah and, and who she is. Is there a certain aspect of Diana's character that you're looking forward to exploring more? Yeah, there's so many. Like, I just feel like she's such a complex person and has so many facets, and there's so many that we can explore. Um, even again, just like seeing her learn how to be a friend, like for the first time, and, like seeing a softer side. Um, uh, yeah, I, I do. I, I think that's. Just exploring different dimensions, you know. She's she's hardcore, but there's a lot going on in there. Like from any. Poison Ivy would be pretty cool. I love Poison Ivy. I just like girls. Like I just think girls are badass, and she's like such a like cool. I just always love Poison Ivy. You know, growing up. Um, I just like girls. It's gonna read weird on. <laughs> you like badass, badass, badass girls. There you go. And if they're badass bad girls, is that better? Can you just stay with me for the rest? of <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have never played a villain, come to think of it, but it would be so fun. Like, I would love to, yeah. But just following up on that, so what is it, you know, because Black Canary is a character that a lot of, you know, young girls are watching and being able to look up to as a strong character. So what is it like being able to take that and play it, you know, this character that's so strong and such a good role model for these girls? That is... <laughs> And I didn't even realize until I started coming to things like this and actually meeting these little girls who are, you know, and little boys who are looking up to this character. Um, it's everything to me. Like, because I, you know, I think all kids have a lot of self-doubt and, and, you know, you need role models, you need strong role models, and, and girls need strong women. And, um, so to be able, it's a huge responsibility, and, and I take it really seriously. And, you know, I really, if I can just use this to help people and, and help kids feel powerful, and like my job is done, that is the most important thing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.